To start building using Ansible, we will create a working directory. It is a best practice to keep all files and configuration you need for a project in its own directory. As such, I have created an Ansible folder on which we will work. This Ansible folder is located under my student home directory. Inside this folder, I will create subfolders with a name and the number of the module. For example, as we currently are on the first module, I have created a folder name 01. So we will go and place our files in there. If I navigate in this folder, you will see that I, I have already created an ansible.cfg configuration file and an inventory file. The ansible.cfg configuration file will be used instead of the default one because it's in our current working directory. If we trigger the ansible version command, we will see that the default configuration file for ansible that currently the configuration file that is used for ansible is this one the one that's located under our folder but if we navigate in the home directory and again trigger the version of the ansible it will specify that the default configuration ansible file is located under etsy ansible ansible.cfg so we want now to go in our working directory and check the, the configuration file that I have already created. If we cut this file, we will see that I have created a default directive and under that I have specified the inventory location, which is our current working directory dot slash inventory as this file has no extension. So I have so I have specified that our inventory file is located under our working directory and is named inventory. If we now go to check the inventory file, we will see that I have created some entries there. You can go and download this inventory file from the GitHub repository in which I have included all exercises for this course. So you can see here that inside those brackets, I have named a group named web servers. So everything that is inside these brackets is a group of hosts, the computers that Ansible will manage. So inside this group, web servers group, I have specified that I have two web servers named with their FQDN. So the first one is web1.example.com and the second one is web2.example.com. In the same way, I have specified also some database servers, DB servers and local servers, etc. So using this INI inventory file, this is the INI style that we will mainly use on this course. I have specified some groups and also sub, some servers that I want to manage. Those servers should have network connectivity with the Ansible server and also should have FQDN resolving if you specify the servers using a, an FQDN. You can also add servers by using their IP address as you can see here. For example, I created a group named local servers and I have placed my local host address there. You can also specify servers using this notation. In this way, if you have a name in syntax, you can massively add servers very quickly. For example, this group FTP servers include five servers. FTP 01.server.com, ftp02.server.com, etc. As you can see in the inventory file, we can also add comments. This is a comment line and will not break our inventory. And also we can specify groups that include groups as a children. So this, the patching group, include the production group 
and the dev group, as you can see here. So this patching group will include four servers in if we trigger and use this group. We can now go and trigger some host using this inventory file to verify that we have created correctly. So if I go now and trigger Ansible command with a particular group, we should see the servers that belong to that particular group. For example, as we said before, FTP servers are five and they are the ones that you can see here. Also, if we, if we trigger the same command using the patching group, as we said, patching group is a concatenation of two particular groups, production and dev, you can see that also we get the production servers and the dev servers. If you have not defined your inventory file on your Ansible configuration, you can also directly mention it through the Ansible command. So we will go now and edit our Ansible configuration and add this line as a comment. So we don't specify our inventory. If I go again and run this command, you will see that we get an error, uh, non-host match this search, this search because we haven't specified an inventory file. So in order to resolve this, we will go and specify our inventory file in the Ansible command. So I will say that my inventory is located under my current directory. This is a parameter of the Ansible command and this is the location where the inventory is stored. Then you will see the same result as if we specify the inventory on the configuration file.